There have been 40 U.S. or NATO service members killed this year by uniformed Afghans being trained by Western forces or Afghans given permission to work on U.S. bases. One in four troops killed in Afghanistan since January have been killed by Afghans who were supposed to be vetted allies, an issue that President Obama addressed from the White House today after calling his top military advisor in Afghanistan. We are deeply concerned about this from top to bottom, uh, and hopefully over the next uh, several weeks we'll start seeing uh, better progress on this front. The situation topped the chairman of the Joint Chiefs agenda as he met with General John Allen and his top team of commanders. Sir, when we arrived here, there was a report of another insider attack, an Afghan policeman who killed an American. Did this come up in your discussions, and what, if anything, did you decide to do about it? Well, the individual event came up, of course, as the most recent, but the larger issue was, was actually the topic of part of our conversation. And I'll tell you what's different this time than other visits I've had, uh, and in particular what's different about this conversation is that the Afghans themselves are now as seized and concerned about this as we've been. That wasn't always the case. Last week, after two separate incidents in which six Americans were killed by Afghan insiders, General Allen ordered all ISAF personnel to be armed and have their weapons loaded at all times. There's a percentage which are, in fact, infiltration. Uh, there's a percentage which are cultural affronts. Um, there's a percentage of PTSD. You know, these, these young men have been at war for 30 years in some cases, or at least their country has. But you, these insider attacks aren't going to cause you to change the withdrawal timeline. No. There was no discussion of that? There was no discussion of that.